Tehillim, Psalms 78. Mashkil of Esaf. Rather, Maskil of Echaf. Give ear, O my people, to my Torah. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide, hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of Yahweh and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done. For he established a testimony in Yaakov and appointed a Torah in Yashra'el, which he commanded at our fathers that they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children, that they might set their hope in Elohim, and not forget the works of El, but guard his commandments, and might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that set not their heart aright, and whose ruach was not steadfast with Eth El. The children of Ephraim, being armed and carrying bows, turned back in the day of battle. They did not guard the covenant of Elohim, and refused to walk in his Torah, and forgot his works and his wonders that he had showed them. Marvelous things did he in the sight of their fathers in the land of Mitzrayim, in the field of Soan. He divided the sea and caused them to pass through, and he made the waters to stand as a heap. In the daytime also, he led them with a cloud, and all the night with a light of fire. He clave the rocks in the wilderness, and gave them drink as out of the great depths. He brought streams also out of the rock, and caused waters to run down like rivers. And they sinned yet more against him, by provoking El Elyon in the wilderness. And they tempted El in their heart by asking meat for their lust. Yea, they spoke against Elohim. They said, Can El furnish a table in the wilderness? Behold, he smote the rock, that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? Can he provide flesh for his people? Therefore Yahuwah heard this and was wroth. So a fire was kindled against Yaakov, and anger also came up against Yashara'el, because they believed not in Elohim, and trusted not in his Yahshua. Though he had commanded the clouds from above, and opened the doors of heaven, and had rained down manna upon them to eat, and had given them of the grain of heaven. Man did eat angels' food. He sent them meat to the full. He caused an east wind to blow in the heavens, and by his power he brought in the south wind. He rained flesh also upon them as dust, and feathered fowls like as the sand of the sea. And he let it fall in the midst of their camp, round about their habitations. So they did eat, and were well filled, for he gave them their own desire. They were not estranged from their lust, but while their meat was yet in their mouths, the wrath of Elohim came upon them, and slew the fattest of them, and smote down the chosen men of Yashere'el. For all this they sinned still, and believed not for his wondrous works, 
Therefore their days did he consume in vanity, and their years in trouble. When he slew them, then they sought him, and they returned, and inquired early after Ael. And they remembered that Elohim was their rock, and El Elyon their redeemer. Nevertheless, they did flatter him with their mouth, and they lied unto him with their tongues. For their heart was not right with him, neither were they steadfast in his covenant. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity, and destroyed them not, yea, Many a time turned he his anger away, and did not stir up all his wrath. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passes away, and comes not again. How oft did they provoke him in the wilderness, and grieve him in the desert! Yea, they turned back and tempted Ael, and limited the Holy One of Yasha to Ael. They remembered not at his hand, nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy. How he had wrought his signs in Mitzrayim, and his wonders in the field of Soan, and had turned their rivers into blood, and their floods that they could not drink. He sent diverse sorts of flies among them, which devoured them, and frogs, which destroyed them. He gave also their increase unto the caterpillar, and their labor unto the locust. He destroyed their vines with hail, and their sycamore trees with frost. He gave up their cattle also to the hail, and their flocks to hot thunderbolts. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble by sending evil angels among them he made a way to his anger he spared not their soul from death but gave their life over to the pestilence and smote all the firstborn in mitzrayim the chief of their strength in the tabernacles of ham but made his own people to go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock and he led them on safely, so that they feared not. But the sea overwhelmed at their enemies, and he brought them to the border of his sanctuary, even to this mountain, which his right hand had purchased. He cast out the heathen also before them, and divided them an inheritance by line, and made the tribes of Yashadael to dwell in their tents, Yet they tempted and provoked F. Elohim Elian, and did not guard his testimonies, but turned back and dealt unfaithfully like their fathers. They were turned aside like a deceitful bow, for they provoked him to anger with their high places and moved him to jealousy with their graven images. When Elohim heard this, he was wroth, and greatly abhorred Yashadael, so that he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent which he placed among men, and delivered his strength into captivity and his glory into the enemy's hand. He gave his people over also unto the sword, and was wroth with his inheritance. The fire consumed their young men, and their maidens were not given to marriage. Their priests fell by the sword, and their widows made no lamentation. Then Adonai awoke as one out of sleep, and like a mighty man that shouts by reason of wine. And he smote his enemies in the hinder parts. He put them to a perpetual reproach. Moreover, he refused the tabernacle of Yosef and chose not the tribe of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Yahudah, 
the Mount Sion, which he loved. And he built his sanctuary like high palaces, like the earth, which he has established forever. He chose David, also his servant, and took him from the sheepfolds. From following the ewes, great with young, he brought him to feed Yaakov, his people, and Yashadael, his inheritance. So he fed them according to the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands.